Okay, we're at the Tokyo IVR conference and we are demonstrating the capabilities of DISTI's GL Studio ES. Uh, so I'm going to show you a little bit about the demonstration that we have here. Uh, this is running out on Windows. Uh, it's showing that you have multiple 3D interactions. Uh, here we can show both gauges. Kind of running a little bit of test data at this point. Uh, and then we also have this menu system. Now you notice here it's in Japanese. Uh, we can go ahead and change that to English, uh, any language really, full, three, uh, full support for all Unicode. Uh, so you see we've got scrolling list, we've got this interior so you can change your temperature and the schematics adjust based on the temperature that you're showing. Uh, quick little mapping. Then we also have a scroll list for the phone. Let's give Paul a call real quick. And we better hang up on him since it's late at night there. And then we've got music, navigation, we've got our 3D car. Uh, now one of the main reasons why we show this demonstration is it really shows the capabilities of the runtime engine. Uh, so no, not only does it show the, uh, the ability to have animations, but real-time uh, applications in full 3D. And you remember, you're looking at about 1.1 million polygons running. Now, this is on my Windows system where we would typically do our testing uh, and prototyping. So up here, we've got our Android tablet. Um, and the big key is that this is the same exact design. So you'll notice here we can switch it over to Japanese again since we're in Japan. Uh, and now you see we've got all of our options which are the same, right? And of course we've got our 3D car in here as well. And so this is showing running on the Android platform. So over here we have the same thing running on iOS. So this is uh, Apple's iPad and this is actually an iPad too. Um, but again you see we've got all the same exact options. It is the identical application. There are no differences. And last but not least we have something that's relatively indicative of what would be put into an embedded uh, car. So this is a little uh, quad-core IMX6 with an A9 chip and 1 gigahertz, uh, 1 gig of uh, DDR RAM. So this is a little touchscreen that's designed specifically for it. And again, you notice we've got the same exact behaviors. There are no differences from application to application. We've got our climate app. We've got our ability to change these temperatures around a bit. And there you have it. So that's the GL Studio ES running on Windows, Android, embedded IMX6 Linux, and the iOS.